Okay, it's me again. All right, I thought I'd show you this because I'm started on this pergola uh, demoing it. So let's take a look. Now, of course, this is a referral. Bedford community. My name got dropped around, and I told the lady, the homeowner, that I'm not going to be cheaper than the other guy. So she said, well, he never showed up. Three weeks, he hasn't contacted me, so I need you to demo this. So this is what's going on. Where he got a nice pile started. The bottom line is this stuff is completely rotted. This house is uh, 18 years old. This is all treated lumber, but it's saturated, absolutely saturated and rotted. All the wood soaked. Even the painter told the homeowner, he goes, I can't fix this. No, 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 paint, no paint is sticking to it. I already removed the electrical and the lights. We cut them off and tap them off over here. You can see it's just pure rotted. I mean, I, I can almost pull this thing apart with my hands. And guess what? They use brad nails. Oh yeah, all the top runners are all brad nailed in. I lie to you not. Here we go again. Cheap construction. <laughs> and then whoever painted it, painted it over green wood and it didn't last. But anyway, that's kind of crap we see in Raleigh all the time. But this is going to be a fast job. My only problem is this, is what to do with these posts in the ground. I've already told the homeowner I'm just going to cut them off below the, I'm going to remove a few of these around the base, these stone pavers, and then I'm going to flush cut it as best I can and grind whatever I need to grind down below the brick and then I'm going to plug these with concrete, okay? Some quick crete. And that's all I'm going to do. That was the cheapest way out. Instead of digging these out because you know they're concreted in. You know they're concreted in. So we're not going to go that route. But top's about halfway, almost halfway off. Got a few more boards here to go. Now I'll work this other side. Okay. Wood rot. It is bloody everywhere in Raleigh. I lie to you not. Wood rot is everywhere. And, you know, it's not any, any, any one particular fault. There's no one at fault here. You know, you build them out of uh, treated lumber, they last 15 years, and they fall apart. Unfortunately, I, I don't think that should be the case. Because uh, a lot of the construction, uh, they should have never painted it. That's number one. They should have let, let the bloody thing dry out for a year and then uh, stain it with oil. That's, that's my personal opinion, and never use a paint on an exterior uh, structure. That's probably my only advice, really, here. Don't do that. Okay. Let me get back at it. This ought to be a lot of fun. Like I said, this job came out of nowhere. Just driving down the road Sunday, get a text message, and here I am knocking this thing out. All right. You guys stay blessed. Leave those comments, thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll check you out on another Handyman video. Tom out of here.